And hey, do y'all? It's cocktail time, son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very muggy Friday afternoon here in the Ozarks. I'm using the Shaker's cocktail glass that my wife found at the thrift store for like a dime or something crazy like that. I'm using my Dog Master Distiller's White Whiskey out of Columbia, Missouri. It's 90 proof. Um, I bought this bottle. Of, actually, I bought two bottles. I drank one of them almost halfway through the first weekend we were there because uh, it was fucking awesome. Uh, but I bought a second bottle uh, uh, back just a little over two months ago now. Um, and I'm kind of working my way through it. Uh, it's just a little under half now. Uh, you know, for a long time I didn't like white whiskeys. I don't think I really understood them, to be honest with you. But now I think I am uh, more so now than before anyway. I think they lend themselves well to cocktails, especially summer cocktails. Here I'm doing a version of a martini with the Dog Master. I've used uh, two ounces of my uh, Dog Master, Dog Master, Dog Master White Whiskey. How much have you had to drink, Tom? Dog Master White Whiskey and uh, my Giuliano Jalapeno Stuffed Olives that my lovely wife bought for me. Um, I've used various different, I, I, I had some almond stuffed olives that I'd use. I used pimento stuffed olives, but she picked up these jalapeno stuffed olives. So I tried, I thought I'd try this in a, you know, a martini-esque type drink using the white whiskey in place of, uh, you know, vodka or gin. And for me, it works. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of gin because the juniper doesn't work for me. Um, I do drink some vodka martinis every now and again, but I like the white whiskey because it adds, me, adds some flavor more so than vodka does. But it does lend itself well to, let's say, the addition of the, uh, well, the uh, the olive juice. So this I've set this up kind of as a dirty martini. So I use a two ounces of whiskey to about a half ounce of the olive juice and then two olives. So I've got the flavors of the white whiskey, but then I've got a little bit of that um, that that spicy, slightly spicy olive juice in here, which makes it a, a really beautiful summer cocktail. Since it is freaking hot out here today. I'm kind of an old school guy. I'm not, I don't drink a lot of crazy cocktails. I don't like the the trend of these crazy hundred ingredient fruity drinks. You know, I, I really want if I have a cocktail, I want it to taste like a cocktail. Meaning, I want to feel, I want to taste the alcohol. I'm not one of those guys that want it to taste like fruit punch or chocolate or peanut butter or some kind of nonsense. I want it to taste like a cocktail. So when I have a cocktail, it's it's a martini or it's a Manhattan or even you know I'll even have a whiskey sour upon occasion but I want to be able to taste the whiskey I want to know some whiskeys in there I don't want to cover it up by sweetness and sugar and fruit and a whole lot of nonsense that's just me I'm kind of a I'm a purist in just about everything I do mm. this isn't one of those drinks you want to slam or shoot for me anyway uh, it's not stuff I do anymore but this really is a nice uh, Nice, refreshing, drinkable cocktail. Mm. I do like this Dog Master whiskey. Like I said, for a long time, I just didn't get white whiskeys. I tried them. I tried the popcorn settings, and I've got a video out there on the popcorn setting whiskey. And I've got a lot of views on it. I've got about 1,400, I guess, you know, relatively speaking. For me, that's a good amount of views. Um, but i got to be honest with you. I may not have given that whiskey a fair shake. I think for the price, since I've had that one, there are others that I've had that were a little bit less that I've preferred. But at the time that I had that, I may not have understood the style as much as I do now. So I may have to buy another bottle and revisit it um, because I may not have been as fair on the whiskey as I should have been. How's how's that for something to admit? <laughs> Maybe I made a mistake. Let's just let's just be honest. Maybe I made a mistake. 
I, I'm kind of liking the white whiskeys because it does allow you to experiment. I have done whiskey sours with the white whiskey. Um, when I, when you, I, I think it lends itself to be more refreshing. So I think it's perfect for summer cocktails, making making a, a martini out of it or a whiskey sour or other cocktails. I've done a, a, a version of a dry Manhattan with the white whiskey. So there you go. I'm Tom the Beer Whisperer. Drink it any way you like it, my friends.